Okay, as we get uh, set ready for the press conferences, again, a uh, reminder on the satellite coordinates, 11993.5 vertical, SES-3, 14K, slot D is in Delta, 9. Also a reminder that all flash photography and video recording equipment of any kind, including cell phones, is prohibited, and please silence all cell phones. And we ask that you identify yourself and the media outlet you're representing when you're asking questions. Uh, joining us on the dais is head coach Bill Self, along with junior forward KJ Adams Jr. and senior guard Nicholas Timberlake. And we'll start the press conference with an opening statement from Coach Self. Uh, yes, we're relieved, uh, excited, and, and uh, you know, proud to get an opportunity to advance. That day, uh, I thought Sanford was great. You know, I, I've never played against anybody that there's never a break in the action. You know, they're, they're always pressuring in some way, shape, or form. And, and, and they, of course, the way they shot at this, the second half was pretty much incredible. But, but uh, proud of our guys. And, of course, these two guys really stepped up and played great. Thank you, Coach. And we'll now open up for questions for our student athletes. Right here in the front row, please. Nick, first, I want to ask you about your KU career high. You picked a good night to do it. How do you feel about that and the victory? And were you fouled on that breakaway? Uh, yeah, I was definitely fouled on the breakaway. But um, uh, I think it all started this morning, a shoot around. Uh, I was feeling pretty good uh, and just carried over into, uh, into the game. Okay, we'll go from front row here. Uh, John Kuhn, Associated Press. They're, uh, in the second half, they were able to shoot quite a few three-pointers and make them uh, cause a lot of turnovers. What, what kind of specifically troubles did their pressure and, and their press cause for you down the stretch? KJ, uh, we'll start with you. Uh, they're just a really fast team, so they like to um, push the ball a lot. So they kind of got us off balance a little bit on a lot of plays and uh, shot the ball really quickly. So I think they just um, we just did a good job in transition and, and pulling up a lot of threes when they were open. Yeah, to go on with KJ said, I mean, they try to speed you up the whole game. Um, so obviously they, they definitely tried to do that in the second half. Uh, you just got to keep your head of the ball. For both you guys, I think you were up 22 uh, in the second half, and then they got it to one. Can you just describe the feeling of trying to be resilient during that, and when you feel all that coming at you, and what it takes to to withstand it? Yeah, it's uh, we're in March Madness now, so a lot of crazy stuff happens. But when you take off, when you um, not disciplined in some plays like we were down the stretch, it can hurt you. And it almost got us today, but we made some big plays to stop that from happening. Yeah, it definitely helps, too, um, having all the veterans here. I mean, Hunt's been in the tournament before. KJ and Juan obviously have gone the furthest you can. So just having these veteran leaders, myself, uh, haven't been here before, but I've played enough games in my college career where you just got to think next play. OK, we will go to our Zoom uh, participant, Dan Totoro. Please unmute yourself, please. All right. Oh, here we go. Dan Call DT.com. Coach, like you said, you respect Sanford in this game. Just what you thought overall that they were doing and uh, the comeback that they had and just what they gave to your team and your reflection on that coming off the game. <clears throat> well, I, I thought they, you know, that's my first experience with Bucky Ball and I'd as soon not play against it again for a while. But, you know, it's a hard game uh, uh, for us with very little depth and you got to play guys the entire game. Uh, uh, and we knew it was going to be like that. and. There's just never a break in the action where you can catch your breath. But uh, first half, we should have been up more than 10. 
the way I thought we played better than to be up more than 10 in the second half. We, when we got out ahead, then there's no question they were the dominant team after that. I, I think we played kind of not to lose, and then they played in attack mode. Uh, I thought they were great. Uh, uh, you know, our ball screen defense was obviously not any good, but, you know, they, they had a guy go four or four from three at six of 26 for the year. You know, so uh, uh, and they picked on us on that with, with Hunt uh, uh, guarding the five man. Uh, but but uh, uh, contrary to what the gentleman asked earlier, you know, second half we took care of the ball. We only had six turnovers. We had twelve in the first half, uh, uh, and we actually did some good things. But what we couldn't do, we couldn't guard the arc. And to get outscored thirty points beyond the arc and still win a game is is uh, is uh, pretty remarkable. We certainly. Can't let that happen, you know, moving forward to have a chance. Okay, any more questions for our student athletes? Okay, front row, please. KJ and Nick, what did you think of the crowd? It, it seemed like at times it was almost a road game. And how did you feel? Seemed you... like. <laughs> God, money. You didn't get this loud in our league. So. How did you hold that off? And what did you think of the, the way they were cheering for the other team? I thought it was awesome. I thought it was awesome that they brought brought this environment to this game and and to play um, down to, to play with four minutes left with that crowd going like that. It just you it can't get any better than that. That's what you dream for when you come here. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really sure what to expect just from them being on the East Coast. Uh, they definitely brought a crew with them, um, and it, it definitely got loud a couple times for sure. Hey, third row, please. Hey guys, Scott Reese, KCTV5, Kansas City. Uh, KJ, I've got two for you, actually. First of all, 39 minutes, and obviously not easy minutes tonight. How the legs, how's the fatigue level? Um, obviously a little tired, but I bet after a couple ice bath and uh, Theragun, I feel like I feel, I'll feel good tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm curious, you, know, you went through this last year with the NCAA tournament, and Coach Self was not on the bench, obviously. What was the difference tonight having him back and his impact on you guys? I mean, it was great having him here this time. Um, Coach Robs did a good job, um, of course, last season. But it's just great having him here with all the coaching staff uh, fully present. Okay, any more questions for our student athletes? OK, we'll excuse them. Thank you, gentlemen. Congratulations on your win. Now we'll open up with four questions for Coach Self. Bill, just your sense of relief as you described it. I mean, this, 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 you had a lot going against you, I guess, in a lot of ways with the numbers and, and going, losing four or five coming in. I just, just wonder the broader feeling of winning this game, even though you're the better seed. Yeah, I think, you know, matchups, I think, in the tournament matter a lot more than where you're seated. And that's, that's played out to be true throughout. Today, I think there's been a lot of things happen today in the tournament that has been a little funky, and 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 this game obviously could have gone the other way. Uh, so we feel really really fortunate. But you know, as a coach, you look at them and you say, okay, they're going to play 12 guys, and they're going to put two guys on one and try to deny him the ball. And how's he going to play 40 minutes when they do that? Uh, uh, but we we were fortunate. It played out a little bit of foul trouble and. You know, and how would we know that Hunt would get 19 and 20, you know, just after separating his shoulder? So there were some good things that happened, uh, uh, but there was also some some really uh, uh, non uh, basketball IQ plays that 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 occurred as well. That that uh, you can't you you got to eliminate those, and and so uh, we we were we're fortunate, thankful, and and uh, but but certainly know that. We played a team that, under any circumstance, they could give us all we wanted just because of the way they play. Hey, Coach. Uh, Davis Domestic, uh, the Crimson. Uh, congrats on the win. This game had uh, just about everything. Not a lot of words can really do it justice. What did you learn about your team tonight, and what can you bring to the round of 32 matchup against Gonzaga? Well, I, don't, I, I think I learned that, that uh, you know, it's, you're, you're up 22, you should win the game. Uh, uh, but when they cut it to one, we actually played some of our better ball down the stretch. So that that was that was good, and and uh, uh, 
I'm proud of our guys. We had some guys come through that haven't been as big a contributors. Nick Timberlake hadn't had a chance to do much of anything this year, and for him to start and get 19, uh, that was that that was great. Uh, uh, to play Gonzaga, you know, I got to I got to study tape uh, uh, more. Although I've watched them play, you know, just about every opportunity I can. If I can stay up past midnight, uh, our time. But but uh, uh, you know, of course. Love Mark and, and and the job he's done and so much respect. But but uh, the way that I saw their first half today is they had a lot of different guys make threes. And if we can't defend the art better than that, then, then then it will not be a fun day. And the thing about it is with coaching, uh, where guys get a little bit out of whack is when they start coaching what they don't really believe in. He believes in this. And so when you believe in something, it's much easier to get your players to buy into it, too. And and uh, uh, I don't know why I don't I don't know why he can't sustain this. Uh, uh, I don't know their roster on all their ages and and things like that. But but, uh, you know, when you when you get to a little bit higher level, sometimes it's harder to press because the guards are so good that you're going against. And it's like, like in our league, you know, when, when we're healthy or, or, you know, you go play Houston and they got Cryer and Shad down there, nobody presses those guys. Guards will just break it. And, and, and uh, so, so uh, I think it may, may have to be adjusted a little bit, maybe at, at, a, at a, uh, a level where maybe there's more marquee perimeter players. But today was a perfect game for him to do that because we were just playing with one ball handler. And so uh, uh, it was a it was you know good strategy to do that against us for sure. Okay, we'll check with uh, our Zoom participants see if they have a question. Any questions for Coach Self? If you do, please use the. When I say one hand. ball handler, I mean one primary handler. Okay. Any more? Tony, back in the back. Tony Jones from the Athletic, Coach. There's a, a pretty short turnaround uh, from tonight to your start time on Saturday. Do we know what time we're playing yet? 10.46 a.m. I mean, uh, you got – I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have the 115 game. Uh, so, uh, 115. But it's a short turnaround. Yeah. It's how, do you, how do you deal with that with so many of your guys playing such heavy minutes? Uh, and what do you, what do you think about the turnaround going from a night game on Thursday? Yeah, I, I, to, I, I mean, I I can't get into CBS business or True TV or TBS or whatever, but uh, uh, that seems like it's pretty quick turnaround. But it is what it is, and you know, uh, 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 certainly there will not be any reason why uh, uh, we won't come uh, refreshed and rested and 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 ready to go. But tomorrow will be a a uh, um, mental preparation day as opposed to a physical one. All right, any more questions for Coach? Okay, front row, please. Coach, did you get a good view of Timberlake's breakaway? And what did you think of that play? And how well you guys did two plays in a row, throwing long passes and yeah. breaking it? Well, the second play, if I'm not mistaken, when KJ dunked it, I think the guy fell down, uh, 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 which is a huge break for us, you know, in, in that situation. But, but yeah, I, I thought Nick attacked the basket well. I mean, that, that, that you know, he's a much better athlete than, than what a lot of people think, and and, and uh, he attacked it strong, just like he should. All right. All right. Coach, Thank you. Appreciate you.